Hi, in this video I have a new upgrade to Prusa MK3 or MK3S and this is an upgrade for X belt tensioner. For beginning I'm just gonna sh show you for those who are in rush what is the new tensioner uh, upgrade. Uh, so in the original Prusa um, basically the tensioner the belt tensioner is is on the where the stepper motor is so you can slightly twist the motor and you can put the tension by there is a screw on top and what it does by loosening the bolt of the stepper motor and tightening that screw you, you have a slightly a space to put more tension on your belt for the x-axis and uh, what I've done here um, and some people are there is uh, another design uh, if you search for it uh, you can see that there is also some people they build a tensioner for this end that use like a two a screw and it pulls the pulley to tighten the ten to to basically to put the tension on the belt uh, but in my design um, first of all I just wanted to keep it clear I mean makes the part a little bit smaller and it looks better and as you can see the first difference is um, the ends for the X axis accommodate just only one bearing for the Z axis and for the tensioner what I made for the X carriage body or whatever you call it there is I made a slot so the original part let me bring the original part this is the Prusa original design and this is my my own design so as you can see is everything is very much same I mean you can you don't need to print it's just this part for to putting uh, to having this uh, new upgrade on so the way I modify basically the original part and I what I've done I made a slot and also made it like a keyway in the X carriage body and what it does it simply it looks like this and there is a M3 not sits here and the slot slides in right the advantage of having this print I mean this uh, X, X carriage body so as you can see is a lot cleaner and uh, you got more uh, space to put the tension on the belt so is it, it travels about one centimeter and uh, I think is more is more than enough to to adjust your belt tension and the other thing it looks really clean and easy to do so and this is the back of the X, X carriage and as you can see it sits right like this so this is for the those who are in rush uh, you now know the idea how it's gonna work well uh, first what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put um, uh, the linear show I'm gonna assemble the whole um, what it calls uh, the X X axis then and then I'm gonna show you how the tensioner it works
gonna do quickly quickly assemble the extruder body uh, just I'm gonna do it this one out of the camera because there is a lot of video on the how to assemble this and is exactly the dimension and the parts are same and uh, I didn't make any modification to the main extruder body and it the uh, original design and uh, what, what the only thing I've done I print the whole extruder body from the ABS ABS and uh, for my X carriage it used uh, I used a PLA and for the X uh, end idler and X stepper motor side I also used the PLA but the problem was as as soon as I as um, as I trying to put my bearing into the uh, place uh, one of the part cracked so I print these two parts out of the PETG So in one of my video also I showing you this is not the original Prusa hot end so is is the clone of the V6 E3D hot end so this is the clone one that comes with the push end uh, and converted to the Prusa and the, the thing I've changed because I had this from before and I didn't want to throw it away so I just felt like it's good to put it in use the only thing I did, I changed the uh, heated cart, uh, heated uh, element, which uh, the the one that it comes with was 12 volt, about about 24 volt, because for the Prusa, uh, it has to be 12 volt, and also um, the one, the clone one also has some uh, pushing end at this point that screw on top, and you you have to push your PTFE in it. Uh, but the thing with that one, it doesn't allow you to place the heat sink in, in its place. So I replace it with the, another upgrade that I've done. Right, this is the uh, complete build of the extruder body and extruder stepper. Everything is on the place. All I need to do place back the stepper on the X end and put this small pulley on and assemble. Place back the X carriage on the bar on the linear rods and I'll show you how I um, tension I put the tension on the belt with this setup The way I place the belt on the back of the on the on the X carriage is simply as it is like just stick the ends like this make a U shape and then hold it like this and slide it through this uh, gap between these two parts like this <coughs> to 
secure it in place all you need to do if you're planning to download and upgrade your X carriage so basically what you're doing uh, slowly take a piece of filament like one centimeter six millimeter basically and then you place it between in between and then what you're gonna do you're gonna pull the belt and the belt gonna lock in place simple as this and also you're gonna cut the axis but I'm gonna do it later and for this end so what you're gonna do you're gonna open and slide the tensioner back in place all the way to the edge like this alright and where the end of the slot is so from that point you twist your belt and what I like to do I'm gonna open it a little bit more and same way replace it your belt between the gap all right so I place it in and put my filament inside again cut the axis and pull the belt to basically lock it lock the filament inside and simply tighten the screw and as you can see it's pulling the belt and I'm happy with the tension right now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut the axis extra, extra belts off all right so now everything is in place and um, what I need to do the back cover like this and I made another mistake that was the big one but it's alright, not a big deal, I can do it so basically I'll put the X carriage one way around so this is it's supposed to be uh, on top so what I'm gonna do 
I need what I need to do I'm gonna take off the pulley from this end and simply take it apart uh, Put the belt around the stepper first and put the pulley for this end. The belt is very loose here and what I'm trying to show you how the upgrade that I've done here for the Prusa MK3 is basically this bit so I put my screw just let me make it slowly zoom out yeah so I put my screwdriver here and simply twist and put the tension on the belt and simple as this and as I mentioned earlier you have about one centimeter of of the trouble of the slot here so it's a lot of space to put attention on the belt right. so the x-axis is complete now the whole reason for this video again it was to show you how this um, the tensioner works and so you, you don't need to do much uh, that much up that much change and all all my design is basically is based on Prusa MK3S so if you are owning one of the Prusa MK3S you can download this part and simply place it on your 3d printer and as you can see it's very um, it, it doesn't take that much you don't have to put twist your stepper or change much about change do any other change to your 3d printer I'm really happy with the way this x-axis is turned up and uh, uh, all the files is again is on the below uh, so you can go on the links and download the X carriage with the, the with the uh, that tensioner on so if you have something from this video or yeah, yeah i would be grateful to give me a like or to consider subscribe it really helps me a lot with my future video and thanks for watching see you next time